Consider a candle flame placed in front of a plane mirror. Rays of light are reflected from the mirror surface in all directions. The number of rays is infinite and every one obeys the law of reflection. Due to the phenomenon of reflection, you will see an image of the candle flame behind the mirror. So what are the characteristics of the image given by a plane mirror? First, the nature of the image is virtual. The image given by a plane mirror is virtual, that is unreal, because the light doesn't actually start behind the mirror. Second, the size of the image equals to that of the object. Notice that the image given by a plane mirror has the same size as that of the object. Third, the position of the image. The image is symmetric to the object with respect to the mirror. The image is symmetric to the object with respect to the mirror. As we change the distance between the candle and the mirror, the image will remain as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. Fourth, orientation. The image is erect, that is not inverted, and having the same orientation as that of the object. The candle has a flame on its top. The image of the candle will appear with its flame on top as well. The image of the candle will not be oriented relative to the object. Why is the word ambulance written backwards on the front of the ambulance? The image given by a plane mirror is laterally inverted, that is, the right side of the image is the image of the left side of the object. The word ambulance is written backwards so that the drivers ahead see the word the right way in their rear view mirrors and give way on priority. The image given by a plane mirror of a left hand is a right hand. The image has the same orientation as the object but it is inverted laterally with respect to the observer. To sum up, the plane mirror gives for an object a laterally inverted virtual image of the same size and orientation as that of the object and symmetric to it with respect to the plane mirror.